for all your fans. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how this video started. So, for all the fans, <laughs> all myself and maybe one other person, and that might be generous. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I got to use a black eye orb here, and uh, we picked this up uh, when the firekeeper got killed, and uh, try invading the world of the firekeeper's killer. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, so we're going to give this a try. This is notoriously difficult. But it'll get us our uh, firekeeper soul back. And I'm going to see if I can hit Knight Lawtrick the Guilty. I think he's got some dialogue if I take a couple steps. I'm going to try to kite some of them. All of them. Brought all of them. Great. back in the main chamber um, killed Lautrick um, and we are going to get his armor set helm of favor embraced armor of favor gauntlets of favor and leggings of favor solitude he forsook everything for he believed in the goddess's love for him the goddess's arms wrap around it as if to embrace the rare, the wearer during his solitude he blah 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 helm of law trek the embraced representing the goddess fina's love as far as i can tell this is the only time we hear about the goddess fina um possibly some references in dark souls 3 I maybe too, but I don't think so. Maybe some item descriptions. Um, so we are gonna chat about a couple things here. First and foremost, there there is some big lore implications for what's about to happen right here. I think I'm online. I'm totally online. Let me uh, let me fix that real quick. But that'll that'll give me a good chance to kind of talk about what's about to happen. So we talked about Anorlando being the city of the gods and everything like that. 
and the the did I okay the Lord of the Sun Gwyn um, made an Armando. We're gonna we're gonna do one other thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna go right here. And so, as we look out at an Armando. We can see this beautiful sunlight, just like Solaire talked about, the grossly incandescent sunlight that is raining down beautifully upon this city of Enerlando. The realm of the gods, the home of the gods. And so what we're about to do next... Um, I was uh, grinding around a little bit. I got some new armor. Um, uh, nothing, nothing terribly consequential, um, and definitely places we will we will still be going. Uh, but what we're gonna do? We turned this once to bring it down to make a bridge to actually. Uh, get us across this chasm. We're going to turn it one more time. And so now we're going to the bottom level of that cathedral area. And there is a little hidden door. We're going to find out what's in here. That's wrong. Forgot this thing has two levels to it. And I'm honestly not sure whether or not the, um, you do these things makes much of a difference, but we're going to pick up this item. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Lord Gwyn's Firstborn, who inherited the sunlight, once wore this ancient ring boosts the strength of miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn was a god of war, but his foolishness led to a loss of the annals and rescinding as of his deific status. Today, even his name is not known. Today, even his name is not known. He is nameless. Nameless. That's important. And now the other thing we're going to do, um, we picked up the Ring of Favor and Protection after the fight with uh, Lawtrick. If we take it off, it breaks, and it's... Uh, can I not? Oh, no, I need to. I'm in the wrong. Ugh. Uh, a ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. This ring boosts its wearer's HP, stamina, and max equipment load, but breaks if ever removed. So once you put this thing on, you got this thing on. So we're going to uh, remove Havel's ring. And we are going to put on the Dark Moon Seance ring. Which... Oops. Which then allows us access beyond this area. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. 
tarnished, it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwendolyn, and kneel before me. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Gwen, Guinevere, and Gwendolyn. Okay. So we got that done. Uh, we are going to head back to... Uh... Oh, and we actually need to do one other thing. Um, I'll, I'll try to remember to do it next. Uh, actually, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So when we um, defeated Lautric, he is the one who killed our our uh, maiden, our firekeeper, and so we got her soul back. Firekeeper is back as well. I wish we didn't have to put her in this area. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue will not offend. So if you recall. Originally, um, she was not able to speak. Uh, her tongue had been removed. Forgive me. I have been pure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. So we kind of have to wonder if even bringing her back was what she wanted at all. It's good for us, but that's kind of not always the point, is it? Ugh, and I shouldn't have warped there. Warping. I apologize. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to the Dark Moon Tomb because I need to reset that, or I need to use that uh, that bridge to get to, to the next area. So we're not gonna do anything with uh, Gwendolyn yet, and I hope I do this in the right order, and I hope that doesn't jack anything up. spot to go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, why, why am I moving so slow? This ought to help a bit. And I'm just going to go right up around this way. check out this painting. This good looking painting, right? It's huge, gigantic. An entire shrine built commemorating it. the painting. The painted world of 
Ariamis. Ariamis. So, I'm going to tell you right now, simply for lore reasons, I'm not going to fight the final boss of this area. Uh, I am going to, and um, I already know what ending I'm going to do. I'm, I'm essentially trying to play this through in the most canonical way I can figure out. So, ah, oh, crap, that's what I was afraid of. Shoot, okay, um, so let's kind of see what we're dealing with here. guys. That's good. They're worth a good amount of souls as well. There is a lot. I say a lot of interesting stuff going on in here see an enemy right up right up tip top there you can see some rather unhappy things going on outside here as well I don't believe I can open this of course not any door you see in a Dark Souls game cannot be opened from this side so we have a couple we have a couple of uh, we have a couple good things going for us as we start to get up to some of these enemies. So, um, I think at the top of the steps here we're going to see our first one. So these guys, if you kill them with a regular weapon, whoa, whoa, um, they will put out this massive poison mist. However, if you kill, uh, kill them with a flame weapon, you burn through the mist. You burn through the poison with the flame of the weapon. Um, similar to what we saw in Bloodborne, where uh, there were those little worm parasite kind of things. And um, these things make noise way worse than what they actually are. Man, I'm so glad we got this leveled up to plus five. Still need to work on my decks. I think I got ten levels to go. the guys in here it's it's tough it's this this fight becomes no joke or these uh, these areas I should say oh well, hey uh, oh, you were up in the rafters weren't you I forgot about that Um, one area in here is just one of the two worst places in the game. Specifically uh, because of one type of enemy that we're going to encounter, and they, they are, they're just the worst. They are the worst. I, I can't get over there.
Do I want to go down this way? Not yet. I don't believe. Really what I'd like to do is I'd like to get that front gate open. I don't remember how to go about that. Dragon scale, one of these. Blood shield, I don't remember what that does. This thing is just weird. Essentially, not essentially, factually, this is the lower half of that dragon. I can't tell if I'm doing any damage to it. I've got to be, right? way. Oop. Maybe not. But we're 
we're definitely not going up there yet. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Because I, I think we just have to. Cool. Where are you? Correctly, this was initially like a test um, build uh, just for like combat because um, it, it has a little bit of everything in here, which is cool. There we go, this is how we get over here. just the, the kind of gravity of it rather than ever actually hoping to use it. Um. Uh oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Take that fall damage. You deserve it. Some of the enemies in here are pretty absurdly difficult. Um, I don't think I can open this yet. Oh lord, I remember where I opened that. And now fortunately we're back in the courtyard. Hate those particle effects. Oh, this thing. So this is also a major, major callback to uh, Demon Souls. This is, for all intents and purposes, the Phalanx. And they are pretty susceptible to fire. Just gotta get past all their stupid shields. And they're gross. Pretty gross. I need to bring. 
bring uh, some of that. And actually, that's that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to mess with these clowns. Open this. does a lot of good and then maybe this one I don't remember if I was using fire orb pyromancy which improves upon combustion create powerful giant flames in one hand great combustion creates a powerful flame but many sorcerers mock the simplicity of this spell makes them effective against blah blah blah. Uh, the flaming fire orb explodes upon impact causing fire splash damage in a spectacle. Alright, yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Uh, we're gonna continue through the painted world of Ariamis. Um, this is one of my favorite areas. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna find a lot of really cool stuff and then we're gonna find one of the most miserable parts of potentially any game in existence ever in our reality so um we're gonna pick up the what is essentially the second half of the painted world next time and i will see you then <laughs>